Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Potato, somewhere underneath these blankets. <laughs> and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and we're back because this weekend Amberled posted a new vlog and I think it's a, a juicy one. Well, I don't know if it's juicy. I think it's just her finally saying what we've all known this whole time. Uh, but we'll get into that. Poe really is under there. It's so funny. He's been sitting there all morning and he was laying in the cutest position where he was visible. And then the second I was like, all right, we're going to start filming. He says, I cannot be on camera today, but I will continue sitting in this position. So he curled up under the covers. I think you can maybe see him like, like right there. Yeah. <laughs> but, but he said, not today, not today, daddy. Anyways, the only other thing I want to say is like, a quick PSA. I don't really know if it's gonna impact anything. I feel like just maybe a little off, a little groggy, a little tired, and that's because, and spoiler alert or content warning, content warning for the people who don't like it when I talk about my personal life or when I talk about the sports that I participate in, because this is about to be an update about that, but as an update, I started a new season of indoor gay volleyball, meaning volleyball that I play with other gay people. Uh, I started that yesterday, and very first game, very first match, I went to go, I was in front, I was in the front line right next to the net, and I went to go block the volleyball, and this man on the other team spiked very intensely, the ball straight into my face, hit me right here, <laughs> right, right on the old nose, and I was like, it, it knocked me to my feet, like just like the shock of it all. Not, like, knocked me to my feet, knocked me off of my feet, onto my ass, knocked me onto my ass is what I should have said. And I was like, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine. My teammates helped me up, I'm standing. I'm like, it's cool, it's fine, there's no issue, I can keep going. I could not keep going. <laughs> my nose started bleeding, like gushing blood. Oh, what a mess. I, it was it was a mess. But like, look, I look the same as I always do, Bestie. It's not swollen, nothing's wrong. I I I just feel kinda tired, if anything. I'm hoping, I'm hoping this isn't concussy 2.0. If y'all didn't ever see my my concussy videos from I guess a couple of years ago at this point. Uh, I had had a concussy once and it did impact the way I reacted to videos. So I guess this is just a heads up, just in case. I hope that if you didn't want to see all this content, me talking about getting hit in the face with the volleyball, that you already saw that I had timestamps listed down below for when the actual reaction starts, which is gonna be right now. We're gonna just jump into it, okay? And by jump into it, I mean, I'm gonna read the title. I'm gonna give a few thoughts about the title and then we're gonna jump into it. <laughs> so <laughs> be patient, be patient. But today's video from Amber Lynn Reed is called, What State Did I Move To? Spending time with my mom and let's go to bingo bar vlog. I have to say, the first two things in this title, what state did I move to, and then spending time with my mom, it's like pretty much confirming what a lot of people have been speculating, which is that she moved to Oklahoma. And here's a few things I wanna say when it comes to talking about the location of where Amberlynn lives. I think when Amberlynn has grocery bags from a grocery store that's specific to the state of Oklahoma, then it's fine to be like, hey, homegirl is in Oklahoma. You know, I think that's chill. There have been a number of people who have been putting out more specific information about Amberlynn's whereabouts and where she lives and things like that. And I just want you to know that if I see that in my comments, I'm going to probably like delete that comment, get rid of it, whoever, whatever. Just because like, I don't think I need to know like very, very specific information about where she lives. But when she's put out general information that suggests and implies that she's in Oklahoma, then I think it's safe for us to talk about her being in Oklahoma. I do understand that it's like a blurry line and like, you know, I, I was fully like following along on her road trip when she did that video, right? Like I had Google Maps pulled up trying to figure out where she might be 
going. And so I, I know that that's probably different for everybody, but my line is like, if you're gonna be in my comments, like trying to pinpoint the exact location of Amberlynn at any given time or moment, then I'm not gonna like allow that stuff, okay? I think that that's reasonable. So please don't put that kind of information. I would never want Amberlynn to be in harm's way because people on the internet know where she lives or things like that. Like that feels like a lot and that's just my personal boundary and where I'm going to like limit things in terms of my comments. And I don't, I don't delete a lot of comments and stuff like that. Like I pretty much leave my comment section open range. But, you know, I would be really upset if somebody started, like, posting where I lived and things like that on the internet, just so we're all on the same page. The other part of her title is called Let's Go to Bingo, which, fascinating to me, because one, that is something new and exciting we haven't seen Amberlynn do, and two, because I love bingo. It's so fun. I used to go to a, a gay bingo night at Diaz Tequila here in Chicago, like almost on a weekly basis with one of my friends. I haven't actually been to it since probably before the pandemic, but I love a bingo moment, okay? <laughs> I really do enjoy a bingo moment, so I'm excited to see that. And now I probably have an additional timestamp <laughs> written down because we're actually gonna start the video. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? So before I show you guys, just keep what? in mind. You you woke up to the ceiling fan on the ceiling? That this is all from like two boxes that I literally just unloaded on my bed and just called it a day. Ooh, what do you, what do you know about some boxes unloading on your bed? <laughs> I hate me. I hate I hate me when I do shit like that. This is what I have to wake up to. You're random. You're you're sleeping with all of that on your bed? <laughs> Wait, why is all of this on your bed? Why are you sleeping with all of this? Why would you do that? How can that be comfortable? <laughs> what? I don't understand. Stuff all over my bed because I haven't put it away. Well, but okay, I get, listen, I think I've been very forgiving of like saying like, hey, show me, show me your moving process. It's fine. I think everybody would understand if your apartment's a little chaotic right now because you're moving. I, what I don't understand is like, why, why would the, the space for you to unload all of this stuff just be on your bed if you didn't have plans to move it all off of your bed before you had to get into bed? Because at this point, in my mind, wouldn't it just be easier for you to have left all that stuff in the boxes that you packed it in? I don't understand why we're sleeping with our junk. Like, like this is honestly, truly, this is like the most hoarders ever. This is the most hoarders we've ever seen in Berlin because, you know, in those hoarders TV shows with Dr. Robin Zassio, uh, they're out here like sleeping in their piles of junk. And that's what this is giving. I don't actually think she's like at that level of hoarding, but this is what this scene looks like. Oh my god. Oh this my god. But I'm super short, so look at those little feet. That's just fine. These are my toesies, by the way. I see that. I also need a new comforter because I've been so cold in the night because okay. this has so many holes in it. But this is like one of my favorite blankets. But okay, I, really, I do need to get me one to like sleep in that's better because I'm just freezing <sighs> all night. Okay, Hello. well, you have plenty of junk to cover up with. Why, why didn't you just put a little bit of that on top of you? Oh, good morning. I have Twinkie fur all over me. Uh, I'm running into a bad habit. I actually hadn't noticed, but I think that's just because of the glare on my computer screen. But now that I look closer, yep, it's there. It's there. It where I'm super exhausted from the day and I fall asleep in my clothing. And it is what it is. I, I actually, I'm not going to care. Is she, wait, <laughs> a couple things. One, is she suggesting that's a new thing? Is she suggesting that just falling asleep in whatever she's wearing is, is a new concept for her? <laughs> like, like, are, is, is that what we're doing? 
Also, like, the, the reality is, is she could have changed and not shared any of that information. <laughs> she could have she could have just changed into new clothing and started filming then. I care very little because I'm also very proud of myself that I took off the majority of my makeup. Anyways, the other <laughs> people are... I'm I, I'm glad you got a majority. Not all of it, but she got a majority of her makeup off before she fell asleep. On their way, so I'm gonna go take a quick shower and I'm gonna be ready for them because I'm so excited to have my internet. You guys have no idea. Work. Y'all, I officially have internet and I've Work. already uploaded a video. Wait, it took wasn't she, wasn't, didn't she just say she was trying to take a shower before the internet people got there? <laughs> She, I don't, I feel like she has it, unless she just didn't do anything with this braid and this hair. Two seconds. Okay, not really two seconds, but it goes a lot faster than my Kentucky internet, so I'm very happy about that. Mark. So, I took a shower, I was able to do that before they got here. Oh, um, she just didn't wash her hair then, which, like, you don't have to wash your hair every day. I was gonna do my hair, I was gonna do my makeup, but they beat me to the punch. Which is fine. That's okay. So I, I kind of want to just wear my hair down. Should I just wear it like the? Oh my god! I don't know. My hair is <laughs> such a mess right now. I honestly probably should. It, it wasn't. It was just fine in that braid. Somebody told me that they didn't like the braid after I complimented it in her last video, and I don't care. This is my opinion. <laughs> No, if you don't like her hair, that's also fine. I mean, the the state of her hair and how she does it is really subjective, let's be honest. I washed her. Now, what was that squeaky ass noise outside my hoe? <laughs> Not me like looking at these closed curtains expecting to learn something. I can't see shit. There's there's closed curtains right here. Alright, I look absurd. You I'm gonna look, figure out my hair. I'm you look fine. <laughs> Dare I say it, you look very similar to the way you always do, Bestie. I'm gonna do my makeup and I will be back. Okay, guys, so. I like this. Um, I used to have my hair like this in college all the time. I um, like this. So I have my hair scrunchie. Wait, matches. I used to wear my hair like this in college all the time. For like the one or two semesters that you went. My earrings. I have H3 in my ear. It is okay. paused. Don't worry. All right. Makeup is done. I feel a lot better now. Yay, we did it. <laughs> My hair is looking so long. It, I'm really living for it. A okay. lot of people are like, cut that hair, and I'm like, no. Like, this is my baby. So we're gonna keep her long. This is your okay, baby? So I will say, I will say if this is your baby, I just feel like, Mm, I don't know. <laughs> am I am I the hair care expert? I just feel like you could you could take care of it a little bit better. You know, I don't know. Anyways, I don't know. I'm not a hair care expert, but it just looks like it could use some loving. So I am just eating some rice that I just made. It's kind of hot right now, so I'm gonna like cool down a little bit. Okay, just rice. Is it fried rice? It's not too hot. So I've officially been here for four nights. And how are we? Listen, this, this, she must have a lot of pre recorded stuff. She must have a shit ton of pre recorded content because I think, like, her first, I would have to go look, but I think her first little, like, vlog of her being in this new place happened, I think, like, at least a couple weeks ago. Maybe not. No, it's it's only been a week. It's only been a week. So maybe she doesn't have that much pre-recorded content. I did just go look. It was the the official leaving from Kentucky video, the road trip one, was posted a week ago. So I don't know. Maybe, maybe I just feel like it's been longer than it is. But I also do think a lot of this is pre-recorded because the last video I reacted to was... Th like, she had been there, I think, three days or something, she said. I don't know. I also don't have a problem with pre-recorded content, especially since, like, she's not... As long as she's not referencing something we already know happened in real time, then I'm good. I honestly love it, y'all. I'm not gonna lie. I was not expecting to. A lot of people were like, where are you moving? It's yeah. Like I was, like, keeping it a secret. Well, I just haven't felt compelled to share, but <laughs> I live in Oklahoma. Wait... <laughs> 
I haven't felt compelled to share. It's not that I was keeping a secret. Back when she was doing those frequent live streams, people were guessing states that she could be moving to, and she multiple times said no to all the other kind of places that people were asking. People asked about um, Seattle, California, Florida, Indiana, Tennessee. Like, they were asking all kinds of... <laughs> Of, of questions and she would be more than happy to say no to the ones that she wasn't moving to but there were multiple people who asked about Oklahoma and she just ignored those questions so for her to be out here saying I just wasn't compelled to it wasn't a, that I was keeping a secret I just didn't feel compelled to tell you girl be fucking serious you're keeping it a secret I have lived in Oklahoma before I was 18 I lived here for maybe six months. It okay. honestly could have been less than that. Um, it was a hard time in my life then. I definitely disliked Oklahoma a lot. Um, I don't like the weather here or anything like that. But since I moved here in the fall, I'm not experiencing like any bad weather. I'm actually like really enjoying it. But okay. I know it's coming in the winter and I know it's coming in the summer and I'm not excited for that. Wait, what happens? But what happens in Oklahoma in the winter? I mean, I imagine Oklahoma in the summer is, like, really hot. I mean, I don't know. It, if I'm being honest, I don't know shit about the climate of Oklahoma. But I'm just basing that on it being so close to Texas. It's just so crazy. A, a memory I do have from living in, in Oklahoma when I was 18 is that I always felt super, like, welcome here. Like, people just seemed super nice. Okay. So I thought, maybe I just made up that memory. Or I just wanted to, like, have a positive memory from Oklahoma. But honestly, it's the truth. People are so nice here. Okay. People like Kentucky. I lived in Kentucky for a hot minute. And it's just, like, the, the atmosphere here in Oklahoma is so different compared to <laughs> okay. Kentucky. And I thoroughly am loving it. Like, truly loving it. And a really big thing for me is I get to be near family. Work. I really need that. I I, I am I am um like who who are these strangers that she's interacting with that are so nice and lovely? I guess the the people at the the grocery store at the Target that she's been to, because otherwise like who who <laughs> who's who's just been so nice and so lovely? Oh the the fans that recognized her in public, I guess probably friendly and and nice but I would expect that I ain't never met somebody who came up to me in real life and was like excited to recognize me from YouTube who's been mean to me so I don't know if that really counts either to be honest because I'm sure there's been people in real life who recognize me who don't like me and just didn't say anything you know although listen if you're a hater and you see me in, in real life and you want to talk some shit come talk some shit I would like to see it because now that I'm like yeah, wouldn't that be something if, like, a hater saw me or Amber Lynn in real life and decided to just say, like, what was really on their mind? You guys have seen, the minute I moved to Kentucky, everything just went downhill. And Did it? There's the a lot minute? Of things that happened in Kentucky. I'm not Wait, gonna, like, sit here and, like... The minute you moved to Kentucky, everything went downhill? I mean... At least entertainment-wise, I loved <laughs> the, the minute you moved to Kentucky was the Destiny era, and y'all were, were a lot. <laughs> that era was a lot. Um, I don't I don't know that initially I would have perceived that, that your life went downhill immediately. And also, if that's the case, you sure did stay there for a real fucking long time. Bash it completely. But my mental health was at its worst in Kentucky. I can't say that I was ever thoroughly happy there. And for me, this like is, being around my- This is a little bit of revisionist history and or just like her saying what she needs to say to herself to make herself feel better about whatever's happening in her life now. Because she's talked a lot about enjoying living in Kentucky and things like that in the past. Family is very important this uh, at this time of my life because sure. I have never been closer to them. So obviously, like I was very, I was apprehensive about moving here because Oklahoma as a whole isn't my favorite. But now that I've been here 
for literally only four nights. I can thoroughly say that this was a very good decision. I, I do I do love like many things in Amberlynn Reed's world that she's making an assessment on something after only experiencing it for a very short time. I mean like in comparison to like how she talks about diets and stuff, right? Like she'll be on a diet for three days and be like, I've never been on a diet like this before. It's thoroughly working for me in the best way possible. Like I've never thought about nutrition the same way as I have when I've been on this diet. That's what this little monologue about Oklahoma is giving to me right now. Like you haven't even given it time to really know if there's going to be a lot of shit that's going to irritate you. Like, you're very much in your honeymoon phase. Like, also, I mean, I hope the best for her and her family. I love that she's able to be closer to them now. But, like, you also have to take into account that, like, so much of your recent reconnection with your family, in particular, like, your mom, has been a, a long-distance relationship, right? And the, those kinds of relationships, I feel like look far different than when you're living in the same city, living in the same state as your family, and you see them on a regular basis in real life. So, you know, I'm, I'm not, that's not me making a prediction one way or the other, if it's going to be a good relationship or bad, whatever. I'm just saying, like, you've been here for four days. <laughs> you, you met Oklahoma on a Sunday, and it's barely Thursday. Slow down, crazy, slow down. And I just kind of can't wait to see, like, where this brings me. Yeah, you let's know? go. Guys, I'm about to use this washer for the first time. Oh, my God. I, I don't know what I'm doing. So it's like one of those Samsung, like, touch. I don't know. It's like technology that I don't understand. So <laughs> I don't even know. So I guess I pull out this little guy here. Like... <laughs> It never ceases to amaze. I, I feel like to some extent this has to be like Amberlynn doing, doing like a dumb Lynn character because, you know, I granted, you know, like the interface and the, the like the new updated like digital versions of appliances, maybe the first time you use it a little bit hard to like figure out what buttons you need to push. But I mean, come on, it's still laundry. <laughs> it's, it, it, we're not talking about rocket science here, Amberlynn. Liquid only. Okay, there's like a little, this is liquid detergent. Okay, so. And, and like she, so she does pull that thing out. Most washers have a separate compartment to put liquid detergent in if that's what you use. Like, whoa, girl. <laughs> what is your issue? What? What is your malfunction? I guess that goes in there. Oh my God. Watch me just spill Ma everywhere. Also, why are you doing it like this? Okay, we're good. Wait, why are you t full on taking the entire compartment out of the washer? What? <laughs> why? Because usually from my experience of doing laundry now for all of, I mean, like, I probably started doing laundry when I was in high school at, at, the latest, if not middle school. So in my, what, 15, 16, however many years, I'm not trying to do math right now. Shit's literally not adding up for me in this moment. But in my many years, okay, that's the point. My many years of doing laundry and using liquid detergent, you don't have to pull that thing out. You can just put it directly in. <laughs> ah, do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> This, this laundry tutorial, I had no idea that this was coming, and it's giving debit card. It's giving debit card, and I'm sure somebody is going to have a video of her struggling to do laundry in, in other eras of her life coming out real soon. Be on the lookout for all those compilation channels. Oh, there's like a little max level. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so irritating to me. Why did you take it out? I did this, I'm sure. Not me being a boomer, but it's, speaking like I'm freaking Gen Z. Listen, it's not it's not boomer behavior at all because I'm sure boomers could figure this out. This is just this is just dumb behavior. I don't even know. 
Is there are, are boomers known to not be able to figure out how to do <laughs> to do laundry? To me to put these guys? I don't know. Girl, read the instructions on the bottle. Bleach section, so not there. And then a softener section. I don't know if I'm allowed to use these. You also just truly don't have to use those, first of all. <laughs> I do laundry without them all the time. Second of all, read where on the, the bottle it suggests that you put them in. I've never used them before, so I don't know where they go because, again, you don't have to use them to do laundry. But I'm sure the bottle has instructions on where to put them in your washing machine. Okay. We're not going to use those for now because <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust it. Okay. Power. Let me just show you guys all my So, power. Thanks. This isn't even, wait, first of all, wait, first of all, this is not even complicated. The, I, I think I have, so I also have a Samsung washer and dryer, and all of these, for the most part, all of these, like, dial, things on the dial and buttons and stuff look so similar to me, to mine. Can't talk, but they look so similar to mine, and I promise you this is not that complicated. Why is she looking so confused over this? So it's set on normal. Okay. So should that just be it, you guys? I should just press start and call oh it a day. Oh, my God. And it's just like, oh here's here's what I also don't understand about Miss Abrilla Reed right now, right? Like, if you genuinely are that confused about how to use this new washer and you don't feel like you can figure it out for yourself on the first time, like, you're literally a YouTuber. You, you work on a website that has video tutorials on just about anything you could fucking imagine in the world. Like, I'm sure somebody has done a tutorial for probably this exact same make and model of washing machine. Dirty clothes are in here. I guess they're gonna start spinning sometime soon. So I've actually been spending a lot of time with my mom. Uh -huh. a lot. And I have seen other family. We've gone out to dinner. Bar. And it's just been Love. really, really nice, honestly. And tonight I'm actually going to go to bingo. Yes. So I'm, I'm excited. Let's I fucking to go. go. Since I lived in Virginia. And I usually always win. So... <laughs> I do feel like we're about to learn a lot about Amberlynn's mom, even if Amberlynn's mom doesn't come on camera, which I'm anticipating probably won't. I'm anticipating she probably won't. But, like, I mean, y'all, if you've been watching Amberlynn for a while, like, her personality or her interests just become the interests and personalities of the people around her in a lot of ways. Not always, but in a lot of ways. Like, especially with wifey, I feel like we saw that. And like the fact that she's getting ready to go to bingo, something that we haven't seen her do in forever. Like, I'm, I'm thrilled, actually, honestly. Like, if her taking on her mom's interests <laughs> and personality means she's gonna go out and do fun things, like go to bingo, like sign me the fuck up, honestly. Truly, truly, I, I'm ready to go. But uh, I think we'll learn a lot based on whatever new things Amberlynn becomes interested in. I also wanna say, I don't think that's always a bad thing, right? Like I, I have taken on some of my partner's interests and things like that. Like I fully was never a Marvel or Star Wars girly prior to dating Noel, and now I've like seen them all, okay? So like, I do think that that's like part of being in a relationship is that you learn about it. But I like also still keep a lot of things that are like true to me and my interests that that like Noel has nothing to do with, I guess, just as a, a disclaimer. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed, okay? But yeah, I'm going with my mom. And Let's my bed's a mess, by the way. Um, still? I, I do apologize. For some reason, my bedroom is the last room that I am focused on. But also, like, girl, don't you think you want to prioritize at least moving that shit off of your bed so you can sleep more comfortably? <laughs> like, I don't understand that as a concept. If I, well, first of all, I wouldn't have even been in that situation to begin with. But if I had woken up and just been surrounded by my random hordes of junk on my bed, it would have been my first priority to clean that up so I didn't have to do that again. I think it's because it's not like a common room. It's not like people are gonna come in here and like hang out. So it's not like something that I'm like hyper focused on, but I definitely wanna like tomorrow put like Tomorrow into it and We're gonna we're gonna sleep with that junk in your bed another night? 
And <laughs> you're saving it for tomorrow. Make it to where it's like not cluttered and stuff. Because right now there's just stuff all over the bed. You guys don't even need to see it. It's looking crazy. Uh, you? Uh, what do you mean we don't need to see it? You already showed it in this video. You silly goof. I am my mom's car. Um, she just went into the gas station because she wanted to get like a coffee, like a uh, like one of those cold coffees. And then we're on our way to bingo. I'm Let's excited. go. Oh yes, you you use that dauber. I'm obsessed. I I love this. Stop, mom. <laughs> I'm leaving that laughing. <laughs> Kind of also reminding me, listen, um, Roseanne Barr today, not a fan, but I grew up in love with the show Roseanne. It really, like, spoke to my Midwestern American family, lower middle class, like, working class family situation type of deal. It really spoke to my heart. And one of the episodes that, for whatever reason, stands out in my head is when she goes to the bingo and then she sets up all of her little trinkets. She's got little troll dolls and charms and knickknacks. Like, that's what this is giving to me. And I'm living. Uh... Oh, my God. You should have filmed while I yelled bingo. Ooh! Right Ooh! Mama Reed got bingo and you didn't film? It sounds like she's open to it. 32. Are we done? <laughs> oh, look. Oh, Mama Reed is going to be on camera. Mama Reed is going to be a side character, and I'm excited. Oh, is that, is that, is that Mama Reed? She, she has a, a process. She has a vision. She is efficient. I'm obsessed. <laughs> I'm loving. Listen, y'all might think this is the most boring ass content, but I'm living. I'm living. 12 more vlogs of Amberly going to bingo, please. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I love it. I love it. I hope they won big money, big bucks, no whammies. I hope they did. So I've been back for a little bit. My mom won twice. Work. Her boyfriend won once. Work. And I didn't win at all. Work. Stop playing randomly. Just the way it should be. Because my brain was turning into mush. We were there for like, I don't know, I'd say about four hours. Four to five hours. Four hours and is a long time for bingo. My brain after two hours, like it was just like melting a mush. I also, could not concentrate anymore. Also, <laughs> I whenever she's talking about, I, I guess I get it if like her attention span just left her. But when she was initially talking about her brain turning into mush, I was just thinking about like you know if you sit and like think back to like when I was in college and would just do hours of studying and stuff like that and like after a couple hours my brain would turn to mush that's what I was imagining happening here like Amberlynn focusing so hard on bingo that like uh it just hurt her little brain <laughs> but it sounds like maybe sounds like maybe her attention span just left her it was a lot of fun I would totally go back just because it's just like fun I hope you I do it is but I'm actually about to do some dishes. I took a little twinkster for a walk. Ooh, and the little twinkster. I knew Wasabi was hiding earlier because of the um, internet guy that came in. He gets super scared. Uh -huh. Like, I could not find him anywhere. And it was freaking please, out. Please, please tell me he didn't escape. Please <laughs> tell me we don't have another Gracie situation. But thankfully, he's fine. Okay, Cats good. really know how to hide. They're very good at it, I will say that. But yeah, Wasabi doesn't do well with strangers at all. Good morning. I Hi. This is a habit that I think I'm going to have for probably the rest of my life. Because why am I going to change it now? Like, I've literally been doing it since I was a little Wait, girl. Did she, say, did she say she slept in her clothes or slept in her makeup? I need to hear before I give my comments. Good at it. I will say that. But, yeah, Wasabi doesn't do well with strangers at all. Good morning. I slept in my makeup. This is mm -hmm, a habit mm -hmm, that I think mm -hmm, I'm going to have mm -hmm. for probably... Uh -huh. the rest of my life. <laughs> okay, that is helpful because, you know, the beginning, the beginning of this video, she was like, I slept in my clothes from the day before. I I don't usually do that. I'm like, girl, you do. Um, <laughs> and she also does frequently sleep, sleep in her makeup too. Because why am I going to change it now? Like I've literally been doing it since I was a little girl. 
I mean, why are you gonna change it now is applicable to most things in your life. <laughs> it's applicable to most things in your life. You can get confronted with all the facts about like why, um, you know, sleeping with your makeup is bad for you and this, that, the other, and you'd still be like, well, it's what works for me and my family. I've been doing it forever. Why change now? Which is honestly my response to any time people try to tell me to stop drinking Diet Cody. Diet Cody, Diet Sody, because I'm just like, listen, I've been drinking Diet Sody almost nearly my whole life. Like, why stop now? I feel ya. I'll drink my Diet Sodies. You keep wearing your makeup to bed. Well, I'm not a little girl. I started wearing makeup like in high school, so since I was then, but that's a little girl to me now. I really have to focus on getting my room. Please. <laughs> Cleaned up, because it's looking Please. crazy. I showed you guys actually earlier in this vlog. And I haven't even put pillowcases on all my clothes. Please. So before Feline left, she got me this. Uh, stop. You need to. Way to dino. You need to toss it. <laughs> you need to toss it and stop fucking talking about wifey. Oh my god, it's been really hard for me to. Life is gonna go on. To look at it, just. I don't know why you would have even accepted that gift. I don't know. Kind of breaks my heart. Anyways, I do want to end this vlog. I hope that you guys did enjoy it, and I'll see you in my next vlog. I time. did. I actually, I thoroughly did. I'm not even going to lie about it. I enjoyed it. I really did. Truly did. More bingo, please. <laughs> Let me live vicariously through you. Even though I could go find bingo here in Chicago that exists a lot in a lot of places. A lot of drag queen bingo, actually. Uh, but anyways, I don't know. You let me know what you thought about it down below. She has been uploading every other day. So I imagine today, Monday, she should be coming out with another video. If she does, I will be back tomorrow to, re to react to it. I've been stumbling over my words. Maybe that volleyball really jumbled some stuff up <laughs> in my head because I'm struggling today. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I love you all so much. Uh, if you're brand new to my channel, consider subscribing down below and hitting the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. And follow me on my uh, Twitch re-upload channel too. How about that? Anyways, I love you all so much and I'll see you all next time. Bye!